Luban number seven is a mechcraft masterpiece created by Master Luban. Don't let his diminutive size fool you. He possesses incredible destructive abilities. His passive converts every fifth basic attack or the first basic attack after a skill into scatter shot, which can hit the enemy three times. His enhanced basic attack has a longer range and can be used to whittle down towers. Luban number seven skill one is his main DPS skill. He hurls a grenade at the enemy, damaging and slowing any enemy within range, while also granting vision of enemy's hit. Luban number seven skill two is his sole crowd control skill. Using the skill launches a rocket that knocks back any enemies right in front of him. Fire the rocket across the entire map to gain vision of the enemy it hits. This skill is also an excellent tool for cleaning up the enemy at long range. Luban number seven's ultimate can be used to randomly bombard enemies within range, dealing physical damage and slowing them. Scouting the brush for enemies is one possible use for this skill. This skill combo allows Luban number seven to deal maximum damage. First, use the ultimate in an enhanced basic attack to damage and slow the enemy. After that, keep the damage and slow effect going with skill one before slamming the enemy with another enhanced basic attack to reduce their health. Finally, use skill two to deal extra damage in another enhanced basic attack to clean up any enemies with low health. This skill combo primarily works by alternating skills with basic attacks for high frequency damage output that will wear down the enemy quickly. Luban number seven is fantastic at taking down towers. When pushing with your teammates, go for the towers as much as possible. As he is rather squishy, keep him in the back line during team fights. In these scenarios, alternate his ultimate and skill one with basic attacks to deal damage and keep his skill two handy for moments when an enemy gets a jump on him. As a marksman, Luban number seven has great burst capabilities. Make full use of his passive and active skills to poke the enemy while laning. Once you whittle down the enemy's health, it's time to look for openings to take down towers. In the mid to late game, when Luban number seven's equipment build is more or less fleshed out, he'll also be able to deal burst damage to tanks in the enemy's front line. At this time, keep him close to the rest of the team and at the back where he can provide steady damage output. Admire my weapons, systems! Humanoid cannon firing! Anyone call tech support? <laughs> <laughs>